<clears throat> Sweet. Hello, Caitlin Barton. How are you doing today? Hi, Ben. I'm good. How about yourself? I'm, I'm also good. Um, I got some, I got a few questions regarding your contemporary architecture career. Okay. So if you're down, okay. It started off with what key life experiences have you formed, has formed who you are today? Um, so I actually grew up in Scottsdale right off of like 96 and Frank Lloyd Wright. So I've always been inspired by the architecture um, around Scottsdale, such as the spear, and it just influenced me to want to become an architect. Sweet. How did you become passionate and involved in architecture? When I was younger, actually, my parents would always take me to um, the Frank Lloyd Wright exhibit. So we would go do that a lot when I was young. And that was like my main inspiration. Sweet. Okay. Um, what are your... What are your core values and how are they reflected in your practice? Um, my core values mainly revolve around being sustainable and um, using proper materials that aren't harmful to the environment in our world. Um, so mainly just being using sustainable things. Oh, and I, like I have that. to be minored in sustainability as well. Sweet. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I met you in that sustainable class. Remember sustainability? What was it? That was exactly how we met. <clears throat> um, what is your design process? Um, I like to go outside a lot. So um, there's this mountain called Mummy Mountain off of like Lincoln and Lost Dutchman and so I like to go up there and it's like a long walk and you can look at both sides of the city when you're at the top and yeah that's like it's nice to just look at the city and get inspiration from that. That's cool that's good. Um, how do you collaborate with other individuals to realize your impactful work? Um, sorry my cat just like jumped up here. It's all right. <laughs> Will you repeat the question? Sorry. Oh, good. Um, I said, how do you collaborate with other individuals to realize your impactful work? Um, I collaborate by following and surrounding myself with people who are interested in the same things that I am. So um, just using sustainable materials and um, <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, I got you. That's good. Um, first, do you know who Peter Zumther is? The name is familiar. Okay. Name is familiar. Um, was he a contemporary architect? Yeah, he was. Is exactly what he was. Okay. I was so the the question was I was going to ask you, um, how has his architectural ideas and buildings impacted your practice, but. If you don't, if you're not like super familiar, then. He was like my biggest influence. Um, it was mainly just like being in Scottsdale and just seeing all the architecture here and the right. way that our city is built. That was my main inspiration. And like okay. my parents too as well. Sweet. Okay. Uh, what are the <laughs> biggest challenges you face? Um, currently? Sure. Yeah, currently. Um, I guess with COVID, it's just there's not much work at the moment. So um, I don't know. I just kind of wish COVID wasn't a thing. I do too. That's I like, do too. That's the biggest thing that's wrong at the moment. Okay. And last question. Uh, what advice would you give a young student? Um... I would say just keep going. It's super, super difficult to be in school, especially during these times. And like learning online is super hard and it's hard for kids to stay focused. Um, so I would just say to, you know, get up, don't do your class in bed and start your day out or at least like brush your teeth or something before class. And um, just to keep you more like focused and yeah, just stick with it, you know. Right, okay, that's pretty good. 
All righty. Well, those are all the questions that I have for you. Um, I appreciate this a lot that you made time for me to, um, to do this interview. Yeah, that was fine. Okay. All righty. I'll see you around. Okay.